Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Team of the Season play review with me, Boy Thief One HD. We are going to be looking now at the 92 rated Team of the Season foul cow card. But before we do, as always, if you could hammer the hell out that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. If you could also hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel, that would also be greatly appreciated. And if you have any questions to ask me, whether it's about Team of the Season foul cow or just FIFA 17 in general, leave all of that in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer every single one of you. So. Jumping into his stats, and as you can see, there are a lot of very high 90s in there. You know, his 99 agility, jumping, his 97 reactions, his 91 strength, and obviously that 98 attack positioning really do stand out as some incredible stats. And also 90 vision is pretty decent on a striker, I must admit. 96 ball control continues that theme of the high 90s, as well as 96 on his finishing, which is just unreal. So, so good in front of goal. He's also got that 99 heading accuracy, which goes with his jumping to mean that he is so deadly in the air, it is unreal. Long shots and shot power are also pretty damn special. And his volleys there at 99, are also very tidy indeed we move on we see high medium work rates which are always good four star weak foot which i absolutely love on any striker three star skill moves which you know is neither here nor there to be quite honest and then an absolute ton of specialities and traits including aerial threat dribbler distant shooter free kick specialist acrobat strength clinical finisher complete forward and then the traits of finesse shot power header and target forward so let's get into the main block of the review so my thoughts on the team of the season foul cow card were that I was very, very impressed. I mean, this card was always going to be so deadly inside the box, both with his head and with his feet. He will score you an absolute ton of goals if you play him in the right way. He is also going to be relatively cheap because of the league. Some people don't necessarily like the league one as much. So that reduces his price a little bit, but also the pace is going to put some people off. You know, 81 isn't as much of an upgrade as some might have thought. Maybe people might have thought he'd be like 84, 85 rated in the pace department, which would have been lovely and would have felt very, very good, reminiscent of like a team of the season, Kane or Costa, that sort of level. He unfortunately didn't quite get that level of pace upgrade, but 81 with the right chemistry card applied to it, even on its own, in fair is still very very usable and I had no issues at all because you just need to let the other players do the running for him and then just let him find the space let him make the runs a bit closer to the box and he is going to make great runs where you can thread the ball through the eye of a needle and he is going to be there ready and waiting to tuck that ball in the back of the net because that is what he does so, so well. He is an absolute goal merchant. He is going to score you a ton of goals, which is exactly why you would pay all this money for a team of the season card. I found him so, so good in front of goal. Very precise. Scored some absolute crackers for me as well, which is always really nice. Makes him feel that extra bit special. So many goals where you didn't think it was necessarily possible. You just took a little pop shot and it went in. Those are always great when they go in. And that happens an awful lot with this card, which is why he is so, so good in those areas. Very good in the air, of course. So if you are swinging any corners in, crosses or playing the goal kicks up to this guy, he is going to win flick-ons and he is going to score a lot of headers. So in that department, very, very good also. And what's great and also helps with the lack of pace is how good his dribbling is. His close control, his ball control are so, so good that if he does get the ball or if he is running with the ball in tight areas where there's a lot of defenders around him or closing in on him, he is able to free up that yard of space, play it off with his decent passing or just keep the ball himself and just jink in and out free up enough yardage of space so that he can have a long shot because his long shots and shot power are very, very good. And anything from sort of 25, 30 yards, he can definitely score quite frequently because he is very, very good when it comes to finishing both inside and outside the box, which is always very handy on a player who maybe isn't as quick as a lot of us would like. But overall, just a solid, solid striker that is well worth around sort of 200, 230k. I think is where his price will settle. And I think that is what he's worth because he's a cracking striker. Very, very good. And if you are used to playing with maybe a slightly slower striker, you'll love him. 
And if you want, then I'm sure you will come to love him because he is very, very good and played in the right way. He is absolutely deadly and well worth going out and picking up. That is why I've had to give him a 9.5 out of 10 because I found him so, so good and really enjoyed using him. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe and peace.